In today's digital world, businesses face a constant barrage of cyber threats. These threats range from simple malware infections to sophisticated ransomware attacks. A cyber incident can cripple operations, compromise sensitive data and damage your reputation. Cyber incident response is the process of mitigating the damage from such events. Having a well-defined incident response plan is no longer optional, it's essential. Failing to plan for a cyber incident is like neglecting to have fire extinguishers in your building. You may not need it every day, but when you do, you'll be grateful you prepared. Without a plan, businesses risk greater financial losses, prolonged downtime and irreparable damage to their reputation. In short, a robust incident response plan is crucial for the survival of your business in the digital age. Before an incident even occurs, preparation is paramount. This stage involves understanding your vulnerabilities and building defences to mitigate them. Start with a comprehensive risk assessment to identify your most valuable assets and the potential threats they face. Once you understand your risks, you can begin configuring your systems to defend against them. This includes implementing strong passwords, enabling firewalls and keeping software up to date. Investing in security software like antivirus and intrusion detection systems also plays a vital role in fortifying your defences. Remember, a well-prepared organisation is far less likely to become a victim in the first place. Identification is the next crucial step in incident response. It involves recognising that an incident has occurred and understanding its nature. This requires constant monitoring of your systems and networks for any suspicious activity. Intrusion detection systems, log analysis tools and security information and event management systems can be invaluable in this process. Once suspicious activity is detected, it's essential to determine whether it's a false positive or a genuine security incident. This requires careful analysis of the situation and often involves collaboration with your IT team or a specialised cybersecurity firm. Accurate and timely identification is key to containing the incident before it escalates further. Containment aims to isolate the incident and prevent further damage. This often involves taking immediate actions, such as disconnecting affected systems from the network. The goal is to limit the spread of the attack and minimise its impact on your business operations. Containment strategies should be tailored to the specific situation. For instance, a malware infection might require quarantining infected machines, while a DDoS attack might necessitate rerouting traffic. Having predefined containment procedures for various scenarios can significantly reduce response time and minimise potential damage. Eradication removing the threat. Once the incident is contained, the next step is to eliminate the threat entirely. This involves identifying the root cause of the incident and then taking steps to remove it. For example, if the incident was caused by a malware infection, you would need to identify and remove the malware from all affected systems. Eradication often involves using specialised security tools and techniques. This might include running antivirus scans, restoring systems from backups, or rebuilding compromised systems from scratch. The key is to ensure that all traces of the threat are completely removed to prevent a recurrence. Recovery, getting back to business. Following eradication, the focus shifts to restoring normal business operations. This phase, known as recovery, involves bringing affected systems back online securely. This often includes restoring data from backups, reconfiguring systems, and testing to ensure that everything is functioning correctly. The recovery phase can be the most time-consuming and complex part of incident response. It's essential to have a well-defined recovery plan that outlines the steps to be taken, who is responsible for what and how long each step is expected to take. A well-executed recovery plan minimises downtime and gets your business back on track as quickly as possible. Lessons learned, improving your response. After an incident, it's crucial to conduct a thorough review to identify what went well and what could be improved. This lessons learned phase helps refine your incident response plan for future events. Documenting the incident, 
analysing the effectiveness of your response and identifying areas for improvement are key components of this phase. This review should not be a blame game, but rather a constructive exercise to strengthen your overall security posture. Were there any delays in your response? Did your team have the necessary resources and training? Answering these questions honestly will help you refine your incident response plan and be better prepared for future threats. Common mistakes and their consequences. Responding to a cyber incident under pressure can lead to costly mistakes. One common error is delaying incident reporting due to fear of reputational damage or regulatory fines. However, delaying reporting only exacerbates the situation, allowing the attacker more time to inflict damage. Another common mistake is failing to properly document the incident and the steps taken during the response. This lack of documentation can hinder investigations, prevent accurate analysis of the incident and make it difficult to learn from the experience. It's crucial to document everything meticulously throughout the incident response process. Best Practices for Effective Incident Management Effective incident management requires a proactive and well-defined approach. Here are some best practices to consider. Develop a comprehensive incident response plan. This plan should outline roles, responsibilities, communication protocols and escalation procedures. Train your team. Ensure that your IT staff and key personnel are trained on incident response procedures and their roles during an event. Regularly test your plan. Conduct tabletop exercises and simulations to test your plan's effectiveness and identify any gaps or areas for improvement. Maintain up-to-date backups. Regularly back up critical data and systems to ensure rapid recovery in case of data loss. Engage with cybersecurity experts. Don't hesitate to seek external help from cybersecurity professionals who can provide specialized expertise and assistance. By following these best practices, businesses can minimize the impact of cyber incidents and ensure a swift and effective recovery. Conclusion. Preparedness is key. In the digital age, cyber incidents are an unfortunate reality. However, by understanding the phases of incident response and implementing best practices, businesses can significantly reduce their risk and minimize the damage inflicted by these events. Preparation is paramount. By proactively assessing risks, implementing strong security measures and developing a robust incident response plan, businesses can navigate the treacherous waters of cyber threats and emerge stronger and more resilient. Remember, the best defence is a good offence and being prepared is half the battle won.